Hey, hi, hello, and yar, me mateys. Welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or I don't know, whatever you're doing out there, I'll tell you what. Here's what it is. Here's the deal. We're going to add to it every stinking time and if you like roguelikes and roguelites you are in such a cool place right now because that's all we play here on this channel i'm glad you're out here with us hey folks i am back with a game that i demoed way back when and really enjoyed playing the dev reached out recently and said hey goat our game is getting ready to come out real soon. Would you be interested in trying the game out again? I said, yes, absolutely, I'd love to. Folks, this is a game called Sea of Survivors, and this is a bullet heaven that takes place out in the dangerous open seas, made even more dangerous with a goat captaining this ship so we are gonna show this game off we're hopefully gonna have a nice run here we'll talk a little bit about what we're doing along the way we just picked up a message in the bottle and that happens to have a map to an area where we can go to and grab some kind of uh, additional weapon we'll probably have some choices along the way the last time I played the game, I did not remember them having a meta progression system yet. Uh, they have bolted that on, and they've got some other stuff that's been bolted on that I think is going to activate, you know, once they hit release of the game. But it looks like there's a recruiting system, so you can add crew to your ship. There's some good stuff here, so we're going to get into it. And uh, well, we're hopefully going to have a nice run. Mm. Cheers to you, by the way. I'm out here with more Creo Brew. This is their caramel blend, and man, it is good, you know? I've been allowing myself one to two cups of coffee a day, and then if I feel like still having a hot drink next to me after that, I go with something else, and, and lately it's been the cacao. Quite, quite nice. All right. And you know what's cool, too, is I always brewed the cacao in the French press. But with the Mocha Master now that I picked up, ooh, Lightning Temple. I have not seen this yet. I'm very intrigued. Anyway, now I can brew it in the Mocha Master, and, you know, this is going to sound so lazy of me, but I don't care. I love that I don't have to clean out the French press every time I want to make cacao now. It's such a win. Such a win. Although I did enjoy taking the old grounds and tossing them into the front yard. I know I got some weird looks from the neighbors like, what the hell? What is going, what is he doing? What is that stuff coming out? Look at this. Trident of Tempestus, fire lightning bolts at nearby enemies. Folks, I have not had this before, and it sounds lovely. So, let's see what's going on here with this. Now, you upgrade as you kill enemies. Uh, enemy boats, I should say. So, you don't have to pick up any experience pips or... Uh, anything like that that is, you know, typical of these types of games. It would be really hard to do that because the game sports tank controls. 
And so it's just a lot of turning. Oh boy, we got all of that one, didn't we? This lightning is pretty epic. We're gonna grab this message in the bottle here again. I wonder what we wanna do here. Increased chance to critical hit. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Now you're also seeing that these are tethered together and as long as they're connected, this trident is taking advantage of everything down here as well. And so that's an added piece that I like about this game uh, that I haven't seen too many other bullet heavens try. Right, we really have to keep an eye on our health here. Similar to other video games, I am very good at losing health in this game. As if that was a goal. Okay. There are different weapons you can get. There's cannons, there's a battering ram. We're going to try and grab this real quick. That's going to be a special power-up for us that came off of that elite ship. Gang five preparation per health healed. Okay. Gang move speed for each empty linked slot. If only one weapon is chained, double its projectiles. Well, we've got two weapons chained here, so we're not going to be able to take advantage of that unless we put it over here and we ganged another weapon. Um, I think we're going to do that and just hope that we get to a point where we can grab another weapon. The gold that I'm grabbing along the way is used towards the meta progression pickups. Oh boy. You're constantly moving. Can't stop. Wow, I thought we were going to bite it there. Okay, let's see what the options are. Increase max health. I think that's probably what we want to do here. We got a little bit of a benefit there to health by picking that up. I like that we have crude boats now, and when you destroy them, you end up with some swimmers out there. That's interesting. So many great games to play lately. Now I follow various folks out on Twitter and I'm just constantly being reminded of all the games coming out. There's a few horror games that are going to be coming out you know, for the holiday. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought we were going to bite at that time. I, I want to try and angle towards that heart and grab some ship health back. Okay. Let's avoid Jaws if we can. Oh, goodness. All right. All right. There is a game coming that's called You Will Die Here. It's either You Will Die Here or You Will Die Here Tonight. And it looks like this combo of retro side-scrolling in a Resident Evil type of setup. Oh, wow. We can start with that now that it's unlocked. That's cool. Let's just go old style cannon and let's give this another go and then when you run into enemies it turns into what looks like an fps game and i don't know if it's on rails or not it just looks really neat i might have to play it i don't know It can be slow going when you start as you're in the process of building up power. Some of these weapons, as you can see from the cannons, they're hard to get hits initially until you, you know, kind of build them up even more. 
by strapping power-ups to them. So we'll probably go with this increased damage over here, plunk that down over there, and then we'll head towards this upgrade. Or additional weapon, I guess I should say. Don't worry, I meant to do that. I have been continuing with my ongoing addiction to a survival show called Naked and Afraid. And this game, being that we are located in the Bering Sea out here, I'm just reminded of all the attempts at fishing that I've seen over the last several days. Turns out it is extremely hard to fish and just perform the act of hunting successfully when you've been starving for four or five days. One of the gentlemen who I really like out there, this guy Matt Wright, if you watch the show, you know Matt. He gets out there with bow and arrow and hunts game and, you know, usually does pretty well. But lately he's been talking about how he's struggling with his bow skills because his arms are shaking. And that's kind of a problem when he goes to pull back the bow and aim. A lot of close shots along the way, but you know, I haven't seen him uh, get a successful hunt in a while. And of course, when he comes back empty-handed, it, it hits the morale of the rest of the group. It's a really interesting show to watch. It makes me very happy that I am not out struggling in, in the jungle. All right. That's going to help us shoot a little bit more frequently. We've got an elite ship over here. Let's add to the arsenal. Let's see what we got. Okay, I love the explosive barrels. Now, we could take the cannon and put it on top of our current cannon, and it, it would evolve it and make it a little bit stronger. But in this case, I'm going to favor the barrel. You're going to see why shortly. It's, it's quite strong. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and eventually connect these together. And I'll definitely add to the frequency of the barrel drop because it is. it is It's quite strong. Now, can you imagine having to turn around every time and go and grab some kind of experience pips? That was a smart decision, the way they built this. Uh, let's go with some turning speed here. And from there, if we can take down the elite ship, that would be good. Okay, can we connect these at this point? We can. Wonderful. All right, now we're going to have additional shots happening. Oh, boy. Oh, I knew we were going to eat it on that one. <laughs> and, you know... I think we're going to go with some additional health there. Let's grab this if we can, and then we'll start making our way towards the next weapon pickup. See, now they're doing the thing that Vampire Survivors does so well and trapping us inside those circles. Um, you know, I think we'll just go with increased damage. The ships that explode help out with crowd control quite a bit. As long as it's not me that's too close to him at the time. I think we're going to take down this merchant ship real soon here. There he goes. Okay, so we got to get down there and grab that if we can. And I want to go ahead and throw this down as well. 
That's gonna just help spread out our shots a little bit more. Oh, man. They're doing a good job of surrounding us. I still want to go back for that power-up. That looks like we might be able to get in there real quick. Yeah, let's just swing up. There we go. Okay. Move faster when traveling upwards. Tethered. Double the damage of weapons that do under 50 damage. Well... I don't think we have any of those anymore. So... What do we want to do here? I guess... I guess we can just pop that over there. Uh, that, that definitely added speed. Without a doubt. If we can just angle them that way, they're going to run into those barrels and we'll continue to get experience along the way. That's not terrible. Let's see, can we cut right through? Perfect. All right, we have arrived at Lightning Isle again, along with Jaws. You know, with the amount of health that we have right now, this is going to be pretty tough to pull off. This is one of the more challenging bullet heavens, I think, because of the overall maneuverability options that you have in these tank controls, which do take some getting used to. But nothing you won't be able to handle. But to be totally frank, I, I think that the challenge itself is, is honestly what has kept me coming back. I've done several runs today. And you'll see that once we show off the meta progression. Oh boy. Oh. There it is. Sunk. You sunk our battleship. Okay. So... You see here that we have a crewmate. So this is going to be an interesting system. Let's go back to our hideout. We have the different meta progression options in here. And you can see that I've spent some hard-earned doubloons along the way. These are the really good ones, but as you can see, they are really expensive. So something to work towards. It is possible to find a pearl out there. And if you bring it back, it's worth 2,000 doubloons. So there are ways of ganging some cash at a faster clip, let's call it. Over here, we have the tavern. And I have the option to fire Clara... I guess um, I'm not going to, but I think at some point there's going to be a way to hire other crew members. These are folks that were lost at sea. They've got a crew wages system here. So this could end up being quite interesting. And then you've got achievements over here that do various things uh, like opening up additional weapons and I think some will reward you with doubloons as well. And then, of course, the different things that uh, we've opened up and found along the way. That's that golden pearl I was telling you about. Folks, this is a game called Sea of Survivors. And it is coming out, I believe, in early access on... October 18th. I'll have to double check whether that's early access or not, but I will include the link to the game's Steam page in case you want to check this one out or if you're full up right now, which is totally fine. Help these guys out. Hook them up with a wish list. It helps these indie developers out so much. So, let's do this again sometime. Let's get together. We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, well, that's what we do every time. And uh, you know what? We'll give away a video game at least 
once a week, we're going to give away 100 games in 2023 to this community. Games from us to us. By hanging out and watching these videos, you are empowering us to give gifts to us. Pretty cool. All right. Thank you for the support. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time out there. Yarr!